Picture this. Electric cars are becoming super popular. People are loving the idea of driving without polluting the air. But let's be real. Even folks who really love electric cars know there's still stuff that could be better. One big worry is range anxiety. Always wondering if your car's gonna run out of power before you reach your destination. And charging up can feel like waiting forever compared to just filling up with gas real quick. Plus, the whole system that makes the car go is pretty complicated and could probably work even better. Well, Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer NIO has taken a big step toward tackling one of those challenges head on. They've just announced the world's first mass produced 900 volt drive system. Now, that might sound like a technical detail only engineers care about, but trust us, it's a game changer. So what exactly is a 900 volt drive system and how will it impact the future of EVs? Buckle up, because we're about to dive into the world of higher voltages, faster charging, and potentially a whole lot less range anxiety. Before we go into details about this, first we need to explain what a drive system is. When you press down on the accelerator pedal, your car suddenly springs to life. But have you ever stopped to wonder what's actually happening under the hood to make that magic happen? That, my friend, is the work of the car's drive system. It's basically the muscle behind the machine, the whole crew working together to get you where you're going. Think of the drive system as the heart and soul of your car. At the center of it all is the engine. This is the powerhouse, the place where the initial energy to get your car moving is generated. Whether it's a gasoline engine chugging away on dino juice, a diesel engine with serious pulling power, or a sleek electric motor, the engine is where the party starts. But an engine on its own isn't enough. It's like having a super strong weightlifter who can't quite figure out how to lift the weights. That's where the transmission comes in. Imagine it as the conductor of an orchestra, meticulously controlling the flow of power from the engine to the wheels. The transmission makes sure your car accelerates smoothly and efficiently, no matter if you're cruising on the highway or battling city traffic. Now to take all that engine power and actually make the wheels turn, we need another team player, the drivetrain. Parts like the drive shaft, differential, and axles all play a role in transferring the power from the transmission to the wheels. It's a seamless transition of energy, taking the engine's grunt and turning it into forward motion. So basically, the drive system isn't just one thing. It's a powerful combination of the engine, transmission, and drivetrain. They work together to transform your car from a parked hunk of metal into a roaring machine ready to conquer the road. On March 27th, NEO announced that they not only hit a major milestone by building their one millionth electric drive system, EDS, but they also unveiled a mass-produced version of their next-gen super-powerful 900-volt EDS they're calling Thunder. This is a game-changer for NEO and the EV industry as a whole, and here's why. First off, the Thunder EDS is all about efficiency and making your ride even more spacious. NEO has managed to make the electric motors in the front and rear axles a whopping 30% lighter and 280 mm shorter. Think about it. That lighter weight means your car won't have to work as hard to move, saving you precious battery power and extending your range. Plus, the smaller size frees up extra space inside the cabin, giving you more room to stretch out and enjoy the ride. By making the electric motors lighter and smaller, NEO is freeing up precious space inside the car. Imagine this. The permanent magnet synchronous motor, PSM on the rear axle, is a whopping 30% lighter, tipping the scales at a mere 79 kilograms. That's lighter than most gym bags. Plus, it packs a serious punch with a power density of 4.3 kilowatts per kilogram. Think of the power density as the amount of muscle crammed into a small space. The higher the number, the more efficient the motor. NEO claims their asynchronous motor ASM in the front also boasts an impressive power density of 2.6 cal per kilogram, which they say is the world's highest among asynchronous electric motors. Pretty impressive if you can quantify it. But how do they squeeze even more power out of these lightweight motors? The secret sauce lies in a revamped cooling system. This keeps the motors nice and chilled even when they're working hard. Speaking of efficiency, 
Neo isn't just focused on shrinking the size of things. They're also making the whole system smarter. The new power electronics controlling both the PSM and ASM rely on silicone carbide semiconductors. Think of these like super-efficient traffic cops for electricity, managing the flow of power with minimal loss. And get this, these electronics are designed to last for over 300,000 power cycles, which basically means they'll keep your car running strong for years to come. NEO has also packed a serious punch under the hood. The upcoming NEO at 9 will be the first car to sport the Thunder EDS, and it boasts some impressive features. The EAT9 uses the world's first 925 volts W-pin synchronous permanent magnet electric motor in the rear axle, turning out a peak power of 340 kilowatts. That's a lot of muscle. So what does all this mean for you, the EV enthusiast? NEO's Thunder EDS is paving the way for a future of lighter, more spacious EVs with powerful, efficient motors. This could translate to longer ranges, quicker acceleration, and a smoother overall driving experience. The Thunder EDS isn't all just about the brawn of those electric motors, even though they're seriously impressive. There's a whole lot of other cool tech packed in there that makes the system a game changer. Here's the deal. The Thunder EDS uses a special kind of power module made from silicone carbide, and it can handle some serious voltage. We're talking 1200 volts. Not only that, but this module is super dense, packing a whopping 1,315 kilowatts per liter of power. Imagine cramming all that muscle into a tiny space. That's some serious engineering. The Thunder EDS also throws in a technology called continuous wave winding. Think of it like a special way of wrapping the wires inside the motor. This cool tech lets the motor deliver a whopping 86% of its full power even at lower speeds. That means you can get smooth, responsive acceleration no matter how fast you're going. Last but definitely not least, the Thunder EDS boasts a revamped liquid cooling system. This might sound a bit boring, but trust us, it's important. As mentioned, this new system keeps the motor nice and cool even when it's working hard. And guess what? A cooler motor means more power. Here's what makes the ET9 truly stand out. It's built on this brand new 900 volts platform. The ET9 boasts a 120 kWh battery made with NEO's very own round cells. These aren't your average batteries. They pack a serious punch with an energy density of 292 watt-hours per kilogram, meaning they can store a lot of energy in a relatively small package. Now let's talk about charging. Forget spending hours tethered to a charging station. The ET9 can be charged at a mind-blowing 5C rate which translates to a whopping 6,600 kilowatts. That means with the right charging station, you can add enough juice for 255 kilometers based on CLTC standards in just five minutes. Talk about a quick pit stop. The ET9 integrates over 100 NEO full-stack technologies, including the company's first 5 nanometer autograde chip and large cylindrical battery cells. Pre-orders for the ET9 have commenced in China, priced at 800,000 W, positioning it as a strong competitor against luxury automakers such as Porsche, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz. With its spacious interior advanced technology and impressive performance capabilities, the NEO at 9 represents a significant leap forward in the electric vehicle market, offering consumers a compelling choice in the luxury EV segment. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section.